Hi everybody, grace, peace, and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Now, before I get into our topic, become a YouTube subscriber to my channel. Just go ahead, hit that red button, subscribe, drop a comment, like this video, share this video. I appreciate your support in advance. Now let's get into our topic and that is respect the pause. Now that we are in a time of shut in and shut down, hopefully we'll be, we'll be emerging from this very soon, but this is a great opportunity, I feel, for us to, to grow. This is a great opportunity for us to, I believe, to become even better as we emerge from this crisis. Now, when we are forced to pause, when we are forced to stop, when we are forced to shut down, many people can only see the negative. But I'm here to let you know that there's tremendous opportunity in the pause if you only respect it, if you only stand still. The reason why I'm saying this is when be, because when God allows certain things to happen, when God allows crisis and tragedies, and when God allows us to be in this state of stopping, it's usually because he has something to say to us. It's usually because he's trying to get a message through to us, not just to us, but to, to all humanity. So what is God trying to say in this period of time? It's critical for us to find out what it is. You need to know what it is for your life. I need to figure out what it is for our lives. So there's tremendous opportunity for us to learn because if the truth be told, the presence of God is in stillness when we are still, when we pause. In Exodus 14 and 14, Moses tells the Israelites, listen, your deliverance is coming today. The Egyptians that you see today, you will not see tomorrow. Be still and the Lord will fight your battle. So he was encouraging them and letting them know that the power of God was with them, even though they were running from the Egyptians. I don't know what's happening in your life right now when, when, with the problems that you're going through, but God knows. So while we are in this pause, while we are in this stillness, you should know that the presence of God is with you and he's not going to leave you and he's not going to forsake you. What you need to know is that God is in a stillness. Many people don't like to stop. Many people don't like to pause. Many people don't like it because it, it feels like, you know, they're restrained. It feels like they're not being productive. But there, I'm, I'm going to let you know in this video that there is power in the pause. There is power when we are still. God tells us throughout his word that be still and know that I am God. So when we are still and when we are in the pause, God is there with us. His presence is with us. So his presence is with you right now. His presence is with me right now. God is everywhere. So just know that while we are in this pause, that we shouldn't panic, that we shouldn't be uh, overly worried, that God is with you. So this is a great opportunity while he, his presence is with us, while we are still, to hear from him. Another thing that we need to consider while we're in the pause and why it's very important for us to respect it, we need to take this time to reflect. We need to uh, get an understanding of what God wants out of our lives. And we need to question ourselves and ask ourselves, what are we, when we emerge from this crisis, what are we, or rather, what are you rushing to return to? There are some things, and I don't think you're watching this video by happenstance, this is the reason why you're watching this video, there are certain things in your life, whoever's watching this right now, that you need to leave in the past, that pre-pandemic stuff that you were going through, uh, those relationships that you had, that job that you had, um, those associations that you had, those habits that you had that was holding you back, that was making you miserable. As we emerge from those crises, this crisis, you have the opportunity, you have the opportunity to leave that behind and start off new and uh, wipe your slate clean. So what you were rushing to back, what you're rushing back to, um, are you going to rush back to the stress in your life? Uh, those things that were um, giving you problems in your life, those pre-pandemic issues in your life. Are you going to rush back to your problems or are you going to take the time and pause and reflect and figure out and hear from God and ask God? This is the opportunity to ask God to remove those things, 
Ask God to give you the wisdom to live a better life. Ask God to direct your path so that you know what you're doing and that you live a more meaningful and purposeful life. Now is the opportunity to do that. But as we come out of this crisis and people are ready to um, have and, and get out of this shutdown, I know I am and I know that you are too, but we really need to question ourselves there are some things that we can leave behind. There are some things that we don't need to carry on into our future. There are some things that need to be left in the past. So take the time in this pause, take the time in the stillness in the presence of God to figure out what's next for your life. And you don't wanna to return to the things that was making you miserable, that was making you unhappy. You now have the opportunity to plan, you now have the opportunity to think, you now have the opportunity to pray, you now have the opportunity to meditate, and you have the opportunity to make your life better if you respect the pause. Now, when God tells us to stop and when he brings situations into our lives that are out of our control, He's trying to talk to us. He's trying to tell us something. So when we are forced to stop, there's a few things that we need to do. And I'm going to review that with you. The first thing you should do when you're in a pause and when you've decided to respect it and not rush out and not just say, OK, I need to get back to business. No, stop for a minute and figure out, OK, was this good business or was this bad business? Because in our busyness, there's a lot of things that happen to us. There, there's a lot of things that go over our head in our busyness. We forget things and we forget God and we and, and we forget the things that are most important in our lives. We forget the things that we should be paying attention to. But when we are forced to stop, there are some things that we should do. And the first thing is we should take out the spiritual trash. When we are busy. And we, when we are running around and we are living our lives and we are pressing full steam ahead, what happens is we begin to accumulate trash and garbage. We're being hit at every angle with the stuff from the world and our soul. And sometimes we can't filter all that stuff and it gets into our soul and it gets into our spirit and, and it begins to back up and it begins to pollute us. And we begin to... Um, develop all these issues it begin to it begins to affect us uh, mentally it begins to affect us emotionally so you have to take out the spiritual trash so while we are in the pause how you empty your trash can and the things that have, have accumulated the trauma the worrying the problems you do that through prayer you do that through meditation you do do that by being still you do, you do that by turning all your problems over to God. The things you can't figure out yourself. Take out the trash. Present your issues to the Lord and he will work it out for you. But you got to empty the trash. Sometimes you have to turn down your plate and fast. Sometimes you have to turn off the TV. Sometimes you have to put down your phone for a minute. Sometimes you have to find a little corner in, in your house or in your apartment, maybe somehow try to get away, wake up before everybody else in your house wakes up and take out the trash. Empty your mind, empty your soul, take out that trash. So that's one of the first things we need to do while we're on pause. The next most critical thing to do is to ask God for direction. God doesn't stop us unless it's for good reason. God doesn't allow things like this to happen unless it's for a good, a good reason. And there's a lot of tremendous positivity and good that could come out of this crisis if you allow it to happen. But if we sit around and think about the problems, if we sit around thinking about the economy, if we sit around thinking about um, the stability of our jobs or whether or not we were laid off or not, if we sit around worrying about that and making our, literally making ourselves sick about things that we can't control, it's not going to be helpful. So take the time instead of worrying, take the time instead of complaining, take the time instead of um you know, questioning, you know, this or that. Take the time and ask God for directions because 
in the stillness, as I explained before, the presence of God is there and he's there waiting to direct us next. Waiting because sometimes God will allow tragedy in our lives so that we can correct some things in our lives. Some of us are not living up to our full potential. Some of us are not living fully and purposefully and God wants us to get there. God wants the best for your life, but we have to be still and respect the pause and ask him for directions because who knows more about your life and what you should do more who knows more of that than God no one else on this planet does we don't know we don't know the future God knows the future so ask him for direction and take the time to do so right now and finally what we should know when we are on pause and when we respect the pause that something great and miraculous is going to happen you know what's going to happen for you you're going to begin to heal as you are still still healing is in stillness our body tells us this our body is a good blueprint for what i'm talking about spiritually for instance when we go to sleep do you know what happens when we go to sleep? Our body begins to repair. That's why sleep is so critical. That's why getting a good amount of sleep is so helpful to our body. So what happens is our body begins to repair and begins to heal. Our body, all of the stresses that our body has gone through throughout the day, throughout the weeks and the months, and throughout the year, it begins to heal right then and there. Our, our brain, as we sleep, it cleans itself. That's why sleep is so important and, be, and it begins to detoxify. But if we don't get enough sleep, what's going to happen? We're going to uh, we're going to be more stressed out. Plaque will literally begin to build up in our brains and we won't be as healthy as we could be. But I'm here to let you know. And as the body mimics what we need to be doing spiritually, when we are still in the spirit, when we are still even physically healing begins to happen so don't be afraid of being on pause don't be afraid of respecting the pause great things will happen there god will begin to heal your life god will begin to heal relationships god will begin to um take out the things and remove the things that's hindering your life and stopping you from being your best self but in order for that to happen, I'm here to encourage you and to let you know to respect the pause, the little time that we have left until things begin to fully reopen. Take this great and tremendous opportunity. Take this time to heal yourself. Take this time to ask for direction from God and leave those things behind that have not been beneficial to your life and things will get better thank you so much for joining me in this video i hope that this video has been a blessing if it has share it share this video with someone else i am wishing all the best for you great health and great prosperity through this time i am praying for you thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video take care and god bless mm -hmm.